Hello ladies and gentlemen, last night there was big news on Modern Warfare about exclusivity. Now, we got confirmed that the Spec Ops Survival Mode will come to PS4 first for a year. Yes, if you're on Xbox One or PC, you will not get Survival Mode on Spec Ops until October 1st, 2020. And that really sucks. Now, if you don't know what survival mode Spec Ops is, it's essentially just a round based mode. Get to the highest round going against like helicopters, juggernauts, actual infantry soldiers. Um, so it's kind of like the zombies, but against real life enemies, I guess. So if you're a zombies fan, Usually we gravitate to this mode, you know, to try it out for a bit, because it's something similar to Zombies. It's not exactly like Zombies, and we just play it slightly, you know, and it's fun. It's not a big mode. And then multiplayer guys can also get involved, because it feels like they're also going against these real-life enemies, and they enjoy that. And it's kind of like a little niche community, it's not a big community. It's a little niche community, which people play every now and then. Uh, but this really sucks. A year. A year? Who at Sony or Activision thinks, oh yeah, this can be done for a year? And I feel like Sony, what Sony do with these deals, they'd make a deal where they think they will get more people playing their console. So they could buy more PS4s and that user who bought it for COD will also spend money on other things like PS Plus or just another game they enjoy. I mean, I can say I have did that. I came to PS4 to play DLC 4 of Infinite Warfare that month earlier. I used to play on Xbox One. Do I think that's going to have the same effect as survival mode? No. People on Xbox One and PC are going to come and buy a PS4 to play the Modern Warfare on PS4 just because you had survival mode. Now, I feel like that in itself means that this is just a, essentially a pointless exercise already. And I feel like this ain't just going to be it. No. In that survival mode, I bet there's freaking sick rewards that you can get. Which makes it like, oh, you're on Xbox One where you can't get this nice looking AK-47. Because you can't play survival mode, get to round 30 on a map. Where you unlock this blueprint, which makes this gun look like a dragon or some crap. You know, it really sucks. Because I know that this right now basically means that... Sony is going to push for Infinity Ward and Activision to make this survival mode amazing in at least the reward factor. And, don't get this wrong, there's going to be extra bonuses for playing that mode. XP is shared across all modes. I bet there'll be some sort of strategy in survival mode where you can XP boost like hell. Better than multiplayer, better than campaign, better than the Spec Ops missions. So you can be a higher level when you go against Xbox One and PC players on multiplayer and other modes. There's going to be some sort of thing in this survival mode, which is going to be a huge advantage over PC and Xbox One. I just have that feeling. There's going to be something. Maybe you can earn MTX faster. Maybe you can earn M MTX just from playing that mode. You know, this is just not right. I feel like when you promote something which has cross play, you need to have everything so it's fair in all consoles. Okay, they did still be a day one advantage. I expected maybe a bit of an XP boost or something like that. I accepted that was going to happen. An XP boost isn't as big an advantage when it comes to what really makes games these days. Players want to feel rewarded. And I don't know why Black Ops 4 failed to notice this. I just don't understand. When you look at modern gaming, people grind shit more. People play more hours. People want to play and grind stuff and earn rewards. You do have that casual player base who just may go, Oh, I, I can't play a lot, but this looks cool. I want to buy it. And yes, KTM 2. Destiny 2 did that well with the freaking silver thing. And also the whole game was just a one big freaking grind. And COD just fails to adapt. And it really sucks. Look at Black Ops 4 Zombies. A sticker for doing a gauntlet. Flawlessly. 
something which if you're not that good at zombies can maybe take a whole day or more it took me i think eight hours doing one of the maps flawless and it took me two hours to do another map flawless you know i just don't understand where the reward scheme is going for that and there's no way this is just gonna be oh just survival mode because sony will agree to just survival mode that is just not acceptable you're telling me that sony thinks this is a viable thing either the hired clowns if there's not anything else in this because no one is going to come from ps4 uh so no one's going to come from xbox one or pc to play survival mode this is pointless exercises now if you fill that thing up with maybe good way to an mtx good way to level up good way to you know go cool rewards that's the only way you're going to grab people over, and that's where I think they're going. Honestly, that's where I think they're going with that. And it really sucks. Really being positive about Modern Warfare, but news where there's exclusive aid, like one year, make it, make it a week, make it a month. Maybe this is good of two evils. Maybe PS4 or Sony went, hey, you either keep this weak deal and no crossplay, or you can have crossplay, but it won't one mode for a year. Maybe that's what happened, and maybe this is actually the good news, but again, I don't see how Sony feels like this is viable, and this can't just be it. There's got to be more to this story, and as soon as we get Modern Warfare, we'll see where survival mode actually benefits Sony, I think, and that just really sucks that Sony, again, has kind of just ruined the game. It really sucks. Anyways, guys, I've been Nubia. And I'll see you all next time.